Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Drawing with Paolo. Another great drawing today. I've had a special request. We're going to put the head here, the body here, and let's start with, of course, the circular aspect of the head for our little dog, Shih Tzu. We're going to draw a Shih Tzu today for a female request. A little girl has asked for a Shih Tzu, and so let's draw this little dog. So here's the dog's head. And then on this end, we're going to have its body here on the left side, coming out this way. And it's going to be staring at us from sort of a low position, staring upwards. And this is its body. Then we're going to put in its tail, sort of like in a nest curve shape like this. It's a 19-minute video, so I hope you have time to watch this and play with me and draw. So here's the tail shape. And we can get rid of this line here. We don't need that anymore, so swipe away. All right, next step is to draw a tined leg over here. Just like that, N another little less curve attached to his little foot here. Really tiny foot for a Shih Tzu. And then it's gonna come up to the back leg over here. And I guess we can add a little bit of a paw. It's gonna be walking on ceramic tiles or stone. So we're gonna be able to see those feet. Then we're gonna put the front paw here, sort of like a that's the, where the most weight is upon it, and we can get rid of these lines here. All right, let's work on its head. Uh, we're going to draw that Chewbacca face that really works for the Shih Tzu here. So we're going to draw its separated hair. This is where the cheek is, a little cheek here. And then we're going to go into the chin. It's sort of like a point. And then we can get rid of all this stuff here like that. All right, the next step is draw some hairs coming up. A bit more hairy. Shih Tzus are very hairy. They have a long hair, but we can still see its nose protruding through all that hair. So it's a little bit of a T with a really small stem. And then we're going to color that in. Nice dark color, but not too dark as to not be able to see the nostrils here. So here's one nostril and here's another over here. Just like that. We'll make it a little bit darker here at the bottom. So we're going to pull down a little line from his nose here, just like that. And then attach to that the upper lip and then darken that up just like that. And with a little bit of a tooth and a little line here. <laughs> here we go. We're getting the cuteness of the Shih Tzu. The eye here will just be like a, a circle and a line. It's like the same thing on the other side. Because I don't know, you know where I'm going to be putting the hair on top of its eye. So it's possible that we won't be able to see its eye too much. So I'm just, just going to color this in here. Not put too much detail yet. And then we're going to see where we go with the hair from this point out. So now we're going to color in more lines or draw in more lines here for where the hair is going to be for the beard. Shih Tzus have beards, also appear to be anyway. Really looks like Chewbacca in my opinion. Cute dog. In no way do I want to insult anybody's Shih Tzus. I like dogs in general. This one is very hairy. Needs a good brushing once in a while, especially after playing outside. Am I right? You know, those of you who have this dog, let me know. I'm sure you have to brush it once in a while. All right, we're going to color in this aspect here. Just add a bit more hair here. A little less on this side. The light's going to be shining here on the right side and on the, uh, this left side. Everything will be a bit darker. So we're going to add its body hair. And for those of you that have been following me for a bit, well, you know that we've been drawing lots of animals. And some of them are very hairy and some of them are not. Um, and so this one in this case is very hairy. It sort of resembles the wolf. Let's get rid of this stuff here. Don't need that. Um, the tail is very bushy. And it sort of works out like with clumps of hair. So let me protect my drawing here with this piece of paper. I'm protecting my drawing from my palm so it won't rub all the uh, pencil around. And so you can see these little clumps of hair, a bit shorter hair, then longer hair, then a bit shorter hair. That's how we draw the Shih Tzu's tail hair. In this case, his tail is wagging, sort of looking at us. I guess it's a happy day for this Shih Tzu. So now we can get rid of all that outline stuff. Let me get my paper out of the way. Now I'm going to use his little bum here. Use that paper again to protect my drawing from my palm. And we're going to color that in real easily like this, just drawing the little Short lines here for the paws, for the legs. A little bit longer lines here at the bottom. So some lines are just a few millimeters, and these ones are just a bit longer, maybe a few centimeters. 
right here we go into the knee area come down right to the paw stroke 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 really short strokes and you don't have to press too hard on your pencil you can press a little bit more at the, at the top and as you pull down you release the pressure on the pencil it gives a really nice hairline like that go belly hair elbow here going down into the wrist on this side and then into the paw just like that all right all these things this here that line there get rid of all that stuff those foundation lines are no longer required and now we can add a bit of thickness to the body thickness and volume we really want that dog to look 3d so we need to get rid of uh, the flat look to it and there's a little bit of a collar to this guy maybe this dog barks a lot so he's wearing this little anti-barking system as soon as he barks he gets a sound or maybe sprayed with some uh, lemon stuff or I don't know and then he's gonna stop barking or hopefully bark less or maybe it's just a collar really basic collar and we can see through the hair here and make his eye just a little bit darker same on this side all right we're gonna add a bit more detail to his head here so this is his hair separated down the middle just like our friend Chewy and we're gonna give him a little bit more hairline at the top here and this will really be added uh, through layers it's important to add a certain layer of hair a light layer of hair and then redraw on top and adding more and more layers of this hair darker parts lighter parts and make sure to leave a little bit of light areas just like I did right here I'm gonna redo the outline here a little bit better and then we want to add more hair just like this so stroke stroke long strokes here we're talking about maybe five six centimeters in length and then we're going to color the, the part around the eye make that recessed so it looks a bit deeper in the head and we're going to color this side the left side of the face because the lights coming from the upper right side all right and over here there should be a bit of shadow from the head being caused by the head a little bit more hair on the bridge of the nose and the lighter hair here, here around the top of the head just going all the way around to the front of the beard the cheek and the chin just like that all right so I'm going to color this part in here all the way to the bottom of the chin front of the face and leaving the right side totally white except for this part here where we're going to color that part in here underneath the nose and add a bit more hair lines here to the front of his face oh it's so cute cute little doggy I don't know if this is adult I think this is probably adult sized it's not little pup because pups don't have this much hair I think so, and see this little dot get rid of that you may not have that on your drawing I just had a little speck there of, of pencil that I removed with my finger all right and a little bit later on we're going to talk about how to use this kind of pencil or any pencil really for that matter to color in our drawing there's actually when we when we start coloring there ends up being a flat end on that pencil and that's a flat end that you want to use to color in stuff and you want to use the pointed edge to draw outlines and I'll show you that in a few minutes so the lights come in this way so all this stuff has to be light and down here it'll be shadow so under this part this light part here will stay white and then so back here this should be nice and dark because the head should be making a nice shadow here so we're gonna trace where we should be coloring in this dog's hair. Um, these dogs have different colors, beige and dark browns and blacks and whatnot. And so we're gonna color all this back end here completely. So I'm fast forwarding this. You can definitely pause it at any time and catch up. We're gonna do his upper back here a little bit darker too because his head is sort of uh, making a drop shadow on his back. And once again, I've layered down a coat of, of a pencil and on top, I'm going to add more details, hair details, to that drawing. I'm going to make this a little bit darker too. And guys, nothing can replace practice, practice, perseverance, and patience. You must be patient with yourselves when you're drawing. You can do it. Uh, you just need to practice a heck of a lot. And, you know, don't throw out your drawings that you don't like. Don't even erase them. Um, keep them so that for the next time you can base yourself on those drawings that you think are, are not as good 
and make them better, improve on them. All right, so I'm just adding more layers here to this back, more hairlines and whatnot. We're gonna do the same thing here to this front paw, add a few lines. This paw is brighter than his body, so I'm gonna just pull down some lines like we did with the wolf, the wolf video. By the way, if you wanna see all my drawing videos, go to my YouTube channel. The, my YouTube channel has a hundred and some odd videos there that you can, uh, just by clicking on my name in blue above my, one of my videos, you're probably on the search page at the moment, click on my name in blue, you'll end up on my channel. And my channel has all the videos with all the animals and everything else. I've got superheroes, I've got manga drawings and uh, objects such as cars and whatever, what have you. Go check it out. It's a much better place to look for all my drawings than actually search for my name. It's one stop shop, actually. And it's free. Learn to draw free with me. All right, let's attack the tail, which I think, in my opinion, is the toughest part of this drawing. The tail and the face, because there's a lot of detail in here. So I'm going to color in the basic uh, shading to his tail here. Maybe we have to hold on to that piece of paper. If the piece of paper is moving, then it's sort of like your palm is moving too. So you will smudge the drawing underneath. So you have to hold that paper in place to protect your drawing. That circular paper I've got, you can use a square one. You can use a paper towel if you want. Anything that will protect your drawing from your hand. But it has to stay stable. It must not move or else you will smudge that drawing nonetheless. All right, we're going to add some hairs, long hairs here to the tail. And I'm using the pointed edge to my pencil here to add these details. But then when I color in, I'm using the flat part of my pencil. And those, those edges will change as we draw. As we draw, the pointed edge becomes a flat edge, and then we just rotate the pencil as we're drawing. And you'll notice the rotation to my pencil from the little blue hook on the pencil there sometimes is in different positions. Like right now, it's, that blue hook on my pencil is sort of aiming down, right? See that, that little blue thick piece here on my pencil? I'm still going to keep drawing here because I want to make this a 20 minute video, but you'll see that as I'm drawing that thing, the blue part will rotate once in a while. See now it's more to the side and then it'll change as I'm drawing along because I want to make sure that point is always at the right spot or at the flat edge is always at the right spot depending on what I want to do. So these outlines pointed, the coloring flat. And I'll show you that in more detail real soon. All right, so let's work on the back end of the dog here. This whole part, we're gonna color in gray. So this is just like the part of his back, still melds into the back part. And then we're gonna add some hair layering on top of this, just make it a bit darker. And here's the hair parts. And we're gonna add some longer lines here. The hair on this portion of the dog is rather long. We're gonna color all that in, so I'm using the flat part of my pencil. And now the pointed, the pointed part to make the hair. There we go. A little pause. Short hairs, a few millimeters long. Long hairs here, a few centimeters long on the back end of the dog. All right. If you guys want to follow along uh, when I'm not drawing, you can follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. Uh, Twitter is Paolo Moroni, and on Facebook, you're looking for Drawing with Paolo, my drawing page. I'm just going to retrace the outline here and make this a bit darker. And add a bit more darker lines, more detailed lines to this dog. Same thing outline here. And if you like my drawings, go ahead and click the green thumb. Please show your appreciation for these drawings. I really am drawing for you guys to help you learn how to draw and draw pretty much anything. I am going through a lot of uh, requests, so I'm not taking very many these days because they're just way too many for me to go through all of them. And I do about a drawing a week, so uh, please be patient if you've made a request. I will get to it eventually. If I'm not taking your request, it's because I'm just fully loaded and I will be taking them again soon. And I'll let you know through my Facebook page, Twitter page, and through YouTube when I'll be available for more special requests. In the meantime, let's do the outline of this dog, as I'm sure you will green thumb me. Oh, so, okay, let's talk about this. So, because I got the white page here. See, this is the flat end, and look at the picture above. You can see flat and a point. The flat is for coloring, and the point is for drawing. So as you color, you're making an edge of your, of your pencil flatter, and that flat allows you to make 
really nice, soft, shadowy lines. The point makes it easier to make detail. So for this instance here, doing the outline of the hair, I use the, the point to do that. And I'm applying a bit of pressure. And every time I'm rotating the pencil just a little bit more to find that point again. See, so here I've rotated the pencil just a little bit. And here I've rotated it just a little bit more. And you can tell that by the blue hook on my pencil. Right now it's all the way up and before it was all the way down. So as you're drawing, your pencil evolves and of course disappears onto the page. And so you can rotate that pencil as you're going along. Now you can see the, the blue part all the way at the bottom again because that's where my point is at this point on my pencil. So it's sort of dynamic when you're drawing and you get to use the best part of the pencil all the time. All right, so we're gonna draw a ground here. We're gonna draw uh, either stone or uh, ceramic here. So we'll draw lines, these vertical lines, which will denote a bit of perspective. So this drawing, this, this dog that's staring at us is on a, a little uh, walkway made of ceramic tile or stone. So we'll draw the grid line in first, just like that. And then we're gonna add some curved edges to each one of these plates, just like this. A little curve here, a little line there, curve here. And I'm just sketching this in. I want it to be a little bit lighter than the dog, so the dog stands out. I need a little line here too. Then we're gonna make the thickness here, curve, curve and thickness. All right, there we go. This could be a uh, summer shot, there's no snow. Even if I look outside the window at the moment of this video, it is full of snow. It's the beginning of March and it's really, I yeah, still have a lot of snow. Although we're supposed to have a really good week this week, a lot of warmer temperatures. The snow might be gone by the end of the week. All right, so now we're gonna color in between each one of those cracks there to make it look like it's a bit deeper. Color all that in here, same thing over here. Just like that. And then we're gonna add a few uh, shadows underneath our dog. So the light's coming this way, that means there's a shadow over here around the dog, behind the dog. So we're gonna color all that in really quickly. And then we have to make it darker close to his paws. So over here, darker, because he's closer to the ground there, it has to be darker, and his up paw there, paw that's in the air. Then we're gonna add a few scratches here to our, our tiles, make them look a little bit older, just like this. So a few lines and a few stones, ages our tile here just a little bit more. Just like that, a few scratches here and there. And then we're gonna add some grass. So you know how, I'm gonna pull here a little fence line to show that this is against the fence here. And then we're gonna add some grass. You know how grass grows through the tile sometimes when it's outside? So we're gonna pull these lines up here, a few lines like that. go. So it sort of looks like a wooden fence. Not too many details. Keeping that light. And then we're going to add some grass. So little grass blades coming through here through each one of the cracks or against the fence. Between the fence and the, the stone. And then uh, we're going to finish it off over here. And that's that. So for those of you out there that wanted a Shih Tzu, I hope you like it. Have a great day everybody.